Seamless Bucket Fermenter by Anvil. This is a 7.51. It's my first stainless fermenter, so we're going to try to use it to float the fruit of wine for the first batch, or first shot. I mean, I wanted this because I wanted something bigger. The five gallon bucket doesn't work too hot for wine. If it's great, we'll use it for beer too, but figured I'd do an unboxing video, give my take on it. Styrofoam, and it's actually all looks like it's pretty much put together. Well, there we have it. Got plastic out of it, and some assembly required, obviously. So what's in the box? Airlock, number seven grommet, and our spigot. So three clamps on it to hold it tight. Clamps look pretty good. This one doesn't have fold down handles. That was some of the complaint people are making about the anvil. But versus the brew bucket price difference, Silicone seal in there. You got directions to put it together and a temp scale. Uh, markings there. Rubber base, which is kind of nice. So, looks like a couple wrenches. And that's all we have to do to put it together. Airlock, simple, obviously. It's like that. So, I think this would be pretty cool. Got some directions, a thermometer, and airlock. So that's kind of it for the unboxing. I, I don't think there's really a whole lot to show you guys because all I have to do is put these two, this together, and we're done. So I don't think you need to see me put a, on the spigot. And it does have directions. So. What are we saying? Pretty simple. Show you that directions, but I'm gonna get some wrenches, but just wanted to kind of give you a first impression. Overall, nice compact, four spring-loaded clamps to tighten it down, a little bit of assembly, need a couple wrenches. That's about it. First impression, I really like the markings in it. Um, a little bit of a concave bottom, which is not huge. I know the brew bucket has an advantage there, but overall, uh, first thoughts are, looks like a decent product. I'll let you know as I go, some guys complained about scratches. I'm not seeing scratches. Some people complained about the sharp edges and the where they put the spigot. I'm not seeing that problem either. So overall, I'm impressed, but Figured I'd do you a quick unboxing video and show you kind of short what you get with an anvil. Nice thing, the markings show up on side too. They're imprinted. I like that. So, all right. Till next time. Thanks for watching.